Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the top 20 best open source monitoring tools for servers, networks, and applications. So, starting off with the list, at number one, we have Zabbix. Now, Zabbix is a professionally developed open source monitoring platform for businesses in various fields. With its easy to use interface, you can monitor millions of metrics in real time generated from network devices or virtual machines. Now, if you were to talk about Zabbix, then Zabbix supports auto discovery functionality. Zabbix allows quick setup and configuration. The platform comprises infrastructure management capabilities, supports proactive notification. Zabbix has an easy to use graphical user interface that supports vivid visualizations. Zabbix has a centralized system to store data. Now, if you were to simply talk about the cons of Zabbix, then a running agent is required for constant monitoring of servers and workstations. Number two in our list is Observium. Now, Observium is one of the best network management platform and monitoring tools for corporations, non-profit organizations, government agencies, and internet service providers. Observium is an auto-discovering monitoring tool that gathers information related to protocols and services. Now, if you were to talk about the pros of Observium, it is compatible with multiple devices platform and operating systems. The platform helps gather port measurements and store information in database. It is beneficial in monitoring and billing bandwidth usage. The tool deploys the SNMP protocol for data collection and Observium supports the auto discovery feature as well. Now if you were to simply go over the cons of Observium, then the first and the foremost is that you require an automated script or separate setup for each component that is Apache, MySQL and so on to install this tool. And also setting alerts is a complicated process. Number 3 in our list is Cacti. Now, Cacti is another open source network monitoring tool that collects data on various network and devices via network polling and inbuilt data gathering features. Cacti is built on RRD tools data classification and plotting system that can create custom scripts, support SNMP polling, devices discovery, and so much more. Now, if you go over the pros of Cacti, then Cacti is a great monitoring tool that helps detect errors and measure availability, load, and drive capacity. It also supports the alert feature and the custom data collection method makes it much easier to organize data with Cacti. And the cons of Cacti are not that much, it is not easy to perform configuration process with Cacti. Also, it must stay up to date at all times. And one major drawback of Cacti is that it is difficult to install plugin architecture versions. Number 4 on our list is Nagios Core. Now, Nagios is a free open source software that helps reduce downtime and improve network performance. Most companies and organizations prefer Nagios monitoring for its user friendly and robust monitoring solutions. Now, before moving on to the pros of Nagios, if you want to deploy Nagios Core on Azure, AWS, or GCP, then you can check out the videos in our channel or you can simply check them out from the video cards in this video. Now, moving on to the pros of Nagios, then Nagios is free open source software. You can easily extend the available services by adding custom scripts to the open configuration. Other than that, Nagios system can monitor multiple devices but requires SNMP protocol. The software comprises various tools for alerts and notifications. It even supports IT infrastructure and server performance monitoring. Now, if you were to go over the cons of Nagios, then features like wizard and interactive dashboards are only available in the paid version. Most configurations are difficult to configure. Other than that, it comprises a confusing interface and fails to track the network throughput. Number 5 on our list is Ichinga 2 or Isinga 2. Now, Isinga is a popular network monitoring application that checks network resource availability, notifies outages, and creates insightful performance data for reporting. It also enables users to monitor large and complex problems across multiple platforms. The pros of Isinga can be placed as highly scalable and easy to configure, supports alert dependencies. The tool provides valuable insight, it is easy to integrate within your system, it can automate tasks, it even supports infrastructure monitoring and cloud monitoring, and it can help create analysis reports. And if you were to go over the cons of Isinga, then there is only one major drawback, and that is that the documentation is really hard to understand. Number 6 on our list is Prometheus. Now, Prometheus is also an open source monitoring and alerting application that was created in 2012. Furthermore, the network monitoring tool helps create graphs, tables, alerts, and is best suitable for a cloud based, containerized world. Some of the pros of Prometheus are as that it follows a dimensional data model. The tool helps create hoc graphs, tables, and alerts. For data visualization, the tool uses an inbuilt expression browser and a third party plugin. Now, it is compatible with Linux, Mac OS, and even FreeBSD. After that, we have the cons of Prometheus. Well, Prometheus, when intended to use the full feature of this tool, the installation process can really get complicated. 
and it provides only commercial support through third party tools. Number 7 on our list is actually Rayman. Now Rayman is a monitoring tool that features low latency. The tool is best suitable for distributed systems and helps gather metric for them. It uses powerful stream processing language to track and manage millions of even per second. Now if you were to talk about the pros of Rayman, then Rayman supports low latency, transient shared state for system. The tool is best suitable for highly distributed and scalable systems. Number 8 on our list is actually Sensu. Sensu is an open source infrastructure and application monitoring solution compatible with all operating systems including Windows, Linux, Mac OS and so much more. It allows you to track services, applications and servers. If you were to talk about the pros of Sensu, it has a strong community support. It is compatible with all leading operating systems. You do not require a separate workflow for monitoring. It can report business KPIs. The tool embraces auto scaling feature and so much more as you can see on the screen. And if you were to simply head on over to the cons of Sensu, then dependencies can be configured but might face some issues on the dashboard. And it is difficult to use a graph of the metrics throughout the day slash week. Also, one major drawback is that updates are backward incompatible. Other than that, at number 9, we have Libre NMS. Now, Libre NMS is a flexible open source network monitoring system that uses multiple network protocols like SNMP to track devices on the network. The tool is highly compatible with various network hardware and operating systems. If we were to go over the pros of Libre NMS, then it uses a multiple network protocol to track devices on the network. It has a customizable dashboard and a mobile friendly web UI. It supports automatic discovery functionality and compromises a flexible alerting system. And then there are other pros as you can see on the screen. And if we were to talk about the cons of Libre NMS, then it is easy to accumulate data without adapting to stiff technologies. Another thing is that it supports services oriented monitoring, which helps reduce downtime. At number 10, we have the Pandora FMS. Now, this tool is highly compatible with Unix and Windows Server. Pandora FMS can also monitor other aspects of a device via agents such as overheating, device temperature, log file, network bandwidth, usage and so much more. It is an all-in-one network monitoring tool. So if you were to go over the Pandora FMS, as you can see on the screen that there are a lot of pros as it is an all-in-one network monitoring tool. So we can just go around the pros one by one like it is compatible with Unix and Windows Server. It is an easy to use and configured monitoring tool. It supports SNMP protocol and even the ICMP polling. Now to measure device temperature and overheating, agents are assigned. Enterprise solution is available at a reasonable price. A reliable network monitoring solution that also tracks a network bandwidth usage is Pandora FMS. Now if you were to simply go over the cons of Pandora FMS then there is only one and that is that the Linux version faces a complex installation process. Additionally, you can also check out the Office 365 and Active Directory auditing tool known as Infra SOS. Now this Infra SOS helps users confirm their Active Directory and Office 365 users which are compliant and secure from any potential cyber attack. At number 11, we have the Check MK. Check MK is a top-notch, fast, effective and popular IT monitoring system that discovers errors across the entire IT infrastructure and resolves most of the complex errors. Now, it provides better insights with the help of an inbuilt plugin that aids in monitoring application servers and even networks. Now, if we were to go over the pros of Check MK, then we have that it supports distributing monitoring. It provides fast and effective monitoring for small to big infrastructure. It comprises numerous plugins. It can quickly perform error recovery. It has a flexible and a real-time dashboard that aids in data visualization and then we have other pros listed onto the screen. Other than that, if you were to talk about the cons of Check MK, then it has an intuitive menu structure and it has a very bad historical data browsing feature. At number 12, we have the AppNeta Path Test. So the AppNeta Path Test is a network volume testing tool that provides the most accurate results to aid in businesses in understanding network capability. Now, it is a free tool that fills data packets in the network and runs tests at any given time. Furthermore, it even helps in monitoring and analyzing the network traffic. Some of the pros of the AppNeta path test is that a powerful, intuitive and highly useful testing tool to monitor and analyze the network traffic is AppNeta and other than that, you can run a test at any time with the AppNeta path test. Similarly, we have some of the cons of AppNeta and the first one is that logistics and support are getting frustrating and the users can only set a maximum of 10 seconds as a test duration. Other than that, at number 13 on our list we have Shinken. Now Shinken is a simple open source monitoring framework that has its own web server. You need to set a few basic parameters to configure the tool. 
The tool focuses on critical business impacts and provides faster monitoring of servers and applications. Some of the pros of this Shinken application is that it is a highly scalable and flexible monitoring tool. It has a user-friendly integrated interface that helps in data visualization and it even provides a robust security management of streams. Other than that, other pros are listed onto the screen. And if you were to go over the cons of Shinken, then there is only one major drawback and that is that for configuration, you need to set a few basic parameters before using Shinken. At 14, we have Net Data. Now, this tool is compatible with various operating systems such as FreeBSD, macOS, Linux and so much more. No matter whether you run web servers, databases or applications via dashboards, the Net Data tool guarantees unparalleled insights and real-time data. Now, if you were to talk about the pros of Net Data, then monitoring the health of your entire IT structure via any device or server or application is possible through Net Data. You can access per second performance metrics in real time. Net Data supports alarm notification and it delivers faster and easier troubleshooting. And it is compatible with most of the operating systems that are available on the market today. Now, if we were to talk about the cons of Net Data, then the biggest drawback is that you can only access limited history from the tool. And it has a read-only dashboard. It does not actually have a graphical user interface. And monitoring multiple servers simultaneously can be a problem. Number 15 on our list is Munin. Now, Munin is an open source tool that comprises more than 500 plugins for monitoring and represents data in a graph. Now, this tool allows monitoring computers, networks, SANs, applications, and provides real-time alerts. Now, some of the pros of Munin are that Munin is an easy-to-install network monitoring tool. It can identify errors faster and provides real-time alerts. Munin is highly scalable and highly flexible too. Again, as I mentioned previously, that you have more than 500 plugins to access for monitoring the network. And it is considered to be the one of the best performance monitoring tools for computers, networks, SANs, and applications. Next up on our list at number 16 is NetXMS. Now, NetXMS is an open source network and infrastructure monitoring tool that supports Windows and Unix systems. It is scalable and easy to integrate with other third party products. Some of the pros of NetXMS is that the NetXMS software is a highly safe and secure monitoring tool. It is a scalable network and infrastructure monitoring tool. It is easy to integrate with other tools or other third party products. It is compatible with Windows and Unix systems. It supports SNMP version 3 protocol and it supports industry standard encryption. At number 17 in our list, we have the NTOP NG. Now, NTOP NG is a network probe that provides web based traffic analysis. It allows monitoring network usage, traffic flow collection, supports IPv4 and IPv6. Now, this network monitoring tool is highly compatible with platforms like Linux, FreeBSD, Windows 64 bit architecture, and Mac OS. Now, if you were to talk about the pros of NTOP NG, then, the responsive web interface provides a good graphical representation of the traffic flows. It provides real-time data about network traffic. All commercial NTOP NG tools for research and education are available for free. And you can also easily capture, process and transmit traffic at any packet size with the NTOP NG tool. Other than that, supports for external services are not dependent. Now, if you were to go over the cons of NTOP NG, then it is hard to store data to disk as it cannot cope with a large number of hosts. Now, at number 18, we have OpenNMS. Now, OpenNMS is another free open source network monitoring tool written in Java. And this tool comprises powerful features and capabilities that make monitoring IP network services very simple. Now, some of the pros of OpenNMS is that it is a reliable and highly flexible network monitoring tool. This tool can manage small, medium, and large network easily. Integration with the alert system is very simple and it has a strong community support. And if you were to talk about the cons of OpenNMS, then with multiple connected devices, the platform may lag in reporting alerts. And also, the OpenNMS user interface isn't very intuitive and needs a bit of improvement. And there are not enough resources available for the tool's development and maintenance. And at number 19, we have Ganglia. Now, Ganglia is a scalable monitoring tool best for cluster-based data centers and systems. Now, this tool, Ganglia, uses various technologies including portable data transport, XML for data representation, XDR for compact. Also, it uses the RRD tool to store and visualize data. Some of the pros of Ganglia are that, that Ganglia makes it easier for users to check status and monitor system performance. With Ganglia, users can simply customize monitored items. Also, this tool allows the use of data structures and algorithms for low per node overheads and high concurrency. 
Now some of the cons of Ganglia are that that Ganglia does not support any messaging notification system and Ganglia is difficult to update if an error occurs as it has no alarm system. And finally, number 20 on our list is Monet. Now Monet is a free open source management and monitoring tool for Unix and Linux platforms. Now Monet is a licensed software that addresses system status via command line or web server, provides quick error recovery and monitors your server as well. Now some of the pros of Monet are listed onto the screen and as you can see that there are a lot. So some of them are like that it allows monitoring files, directories and file systems on the local host. The interface also works great on mobile devices. It supports testing programs or scripts and you do not require any plugin or special library to run the software. And if you were to talk about the only con of Monet, then the license is only applicable if you are willing to distribute Monet to third parties. Additionally, you can also check out the Office 365 and Active Directory auditing tool known as Infra SOS. Now this Infra SOS helps users confirm their Active Directory and Office 365 users which are compliant and secure from any potential cyber attack. So, that was the list of the top 20 open source monitoring tools for servers, networks and applications. And if you still want to read more information about the items on the list, then simply check out the link in the description box that will take you to the blog post of the top 20 open source monitoring tools. And if you have learned anything new from this video, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.